Welcome, I'll be reacting to Captain Scarlet and the Mysterons, Season 1, Episode 9. This is a commentary, it is not a market substitute, and please, no spoilers in the comments. Patrol completed, returning to cloud base. SIG. Mm. Can we just have an Angels episode, please? Captain Scarlet can walk by in the background just to say he's in the episode. Oh, lead me to that home of sleep. Yeah, <laughs> this four hours on, four hours off is sure tiring. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Hello, Rhapsody. No news. I love that they have wine glasses right there. Does anyone know where they've gone? Top security. Some special assignment, I guess. I hope they stay there and we stay with the angels. Ah, oh, no such luck. I love this set, but go back to the angels. Never mind, I forgive them. These outfits are incredible. What a life. Those shades are just... What's this about? Of course, if he shoots Scarlet, it won't do anything. We hear they serve a fine lunch at the hunting lodge. That's a cute lodge. Oh, look at the tiny bar cart. They could have come up with better fake names, though. Mr. Lion, really? It's worse than the ones Sam and Dean came up with on Supernatural. What do you think, Scully? Wanna check it out? I'm not Scully, you're Scully. No, I'm older. My name's Tiger. Yes, sir. I understand I can get a good lunch at the hunting lodge. That's right, sir. Can you please come up with better fake names? Yes, I'm Miss Zebra. Well, you can at least show the doubters a photo of the one that got away. I like that. He just kind of aims and then takes a picture. Security check complete, sir. Thank you. Oh. Well, gentlemen. So, everyone here is Spectrum. <gasps> ah, it's just like UFO! This is so awesome. As an introvert, I kind of want a house like this. So, like, if people are coming over, you could just be like... No, going down. Can you imagine just going here and having a meal and having no idea all of this was there? May I welcome you to the conference room of the Spectrum Intelligence Agency? <gasps> they have an intelligence agency? Let us consider the gun first. So is this based on electricity? Uh, gentlemen, if you'll gather around, high voltage electricity. This is their Achilles heel. When will full scale production begin? Immediately. Your men should have this equipment in a matter of weeks. Ooh, That's great news. That was fast. I thought we would have to wait a few episodes. Bring down the C-38 detector. Yes, sir. Captain Indigo has the best job. He just hangs out in the bar all day, answers the phone. Captain Black? Yes, I'm here for lunch. Yes! I mean, I'm sorry for Indigo, but I'm just so excited that Captain Black is here. <laughs> R.I.P. Indigo. You know what to do. Yes, I will make you an old-fashioned cocktail. The principle of the detector was discovered by chance. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you will explain, Colonel White. Colonel White. It looks kind of like the front of a car. I feel like that's how they made the prop. They like sliced off the end of one and then Put the eyes on. He has retained some Mr. On characteristics. Mm -hmm. One of which is that he is impervious to x-ray. Oh, that's interesting and so to know. You see a positive result. Wow. I think you've shown us a remarkable achievement, Doctor. Yeah, maybe point it at indigo. <gasps> yes. I uh I'll get back uh, upstairs, sir. Dun dun dun. Oh, a car chase. Sweet. Get out of there, the lodge is coming down. We can't use the elevator when the lift mechanism is in operation. You must stop it, Captain Scarlet. Yeah, Scarlet, you need to just get out of the lodge while you still can. Ah. <laughs> well, security knows that's a Mr. On, at least. Not that they can do much to stop him. Maybe shoot out the tires. I suggest we get under the table. What good will that do? They'll be crushed like matchwood. 
I feel like that's a flaw in the design. They should have had a small room that they created outside the footprint of the lodge for situations like this. Yes. Love it when they follow my advice. We're in 3263827. Shut down all garbage patches on the detention level. Shut down all the garbage patches on the detention level. No, shut them all down. Hurry. It's all right. He's dead. I'll get the key. No. He did it, Colonel. He did it. We've had a frightening, but uh, nonetheless, very satisfactory day. I kind of like that phrase. Well, we've had a very frightening, but satisfactory day. I need to remember that next time I have a really bad day. Well, Colonel, I hear they serve a fine dinner in the hunting lodge uh, above us. <laughs> Do we get to see the dinner? Ah, oh, just the aperitif. By the way, Tiger, how was the duck? Excellent. Oh, duck is so good. <laughs> That was a lot of fun and a bold move to have the Mistrons take over one of the captains and then just kill him off. No one is safe on this show, except perhaps its namesake. I really loved the lodge design. The artwork in the background was really cool and the way all the walls would go up and down. And I really kind of thought it was interesting to have a concept where someone thought up this super cool idea where they're like, yeah, so the lodge can go down and then deposit people and go back up. It'll be great. But they failed to think about, wait, what if the lodge is compromised and the key taken? Now what? And I feel like architecture design flaws where they don't think through a certain scenario are fairly common. I will give you an example. Frank Lloyd Wright, famous architect, right? He designed a lot of the buildings around this area, one of which was a theater. If you sit in this theater, it is gorgeous. The lobby, oh, one small problem. The dressing rooms are upstairs and there is a very kind of narrow stairway to get up to them and no freight elevator. That's right, they forgot that you put costumes in dressing rooms. Now, if it's a one person production and you're just going upstairs to change into your elegant attire to go down and play the piano or something, no problem. You just carry your one dress upstairs. When you're trying to put on an entire production of The Nutcracker, You have to carry rack after rack after rack of heavy velvet costumes up stairs. Have you ever carried a heavy rack of costumes where it's basically vertical because you have one person at the top and you're holding the bottom and all the costumes slide down and they hit you in the face and you're like blindly trying to get this heavy rack up? It's a nightmare. Anyway, the point of this anecdote is that a lot of people might look at this episode and go, how could they have forgotten to put in a little room on the side? And actually it, it's a common problem of the architect doesn't think through every situation, designs it a little bit poorly for that particular situation, <laughs> even if they're a genius like Frank Lloyd Wright. I really enjoyed all the little leisure suits that they had on. So adorbs. And we even got a cameo from Cemetery Guy, so I was happy. <laughs> Overall, great episode. We even got a car chase. <laughs>